Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Red Elevator. I'm Nina Takish, and today we are going to look at the top 10 interior design trends of 2021. Since so many of you ask me what I'm wearing in these videos, today I am wearing a new beautiful floral uh, number from Zimmerman. It is a very sheer, beautiful fabric that um, has a wire detail at the bottom which allows it to flow beautifully. I am also wearing my trusted Bottega mules which are very comfortable and I tend to wear quite a bit. The very first trend of 2021 that you do not want to miss is that navy is the new black. It's called the navel theme and the navel theme is taking over. As you can see from these photos, every single one of these rooms is painted in navy virtually on every wall. It's not even an accent feature anymore. It's literally the entire room in contemporary design, also in traditional and modern homes. The second trend is called Lightwood. You've seen this before. You've seen it on floors, but now it's taking over the cabinetry and kitchens. It's taking over furniture pieces, and it's a beautiful light white oak. This oak can be ceruced, which I personally love, which means it has a little bit of a white patina, it's a bit of a whitewash, or it can just be natural, au naturel, as we'd like to say. This natural trend is very much in tune with 2021, which is a year where we will be recoiling as we have been due to the pandemic, but we will also value home life and being together. And this is why this trend is very hot. As you can see from these photos, white oaks is really lining the walls of these beautiful homes, whether it's window treatments or whether it's really the backboard or the backsplash of your bedroom. There is also a very tactile notion to this new design because you will see that there will be ribbed and fluted walls in this white oak. Sometimes they're lightly stained to create what would be a two-tone white oak, and therefore it is a beautiful and very, very calming and natural way to design your home in 2021. The third important 2021 trend that everyone is sort of adhering to is what is good for the earth is good for humanity. And this is where you're gonna see bioplastic products. Uh, friendly products to our environment being used in furnishings and the finishes and the items are spectacular. Some of the greatest designers in the world are using these materials and they're becoming sort of art as objects. This beautiful chair, as you can see, is very bio-friendly and therefore can degrade over time if it was disposed and really have zero impact on our environment. We need to take care of ourselves, our environment, and our surroundings. The next design trend is called statement pieces. You want to have statement pieces in a very minimal surrounding. This is probably my favorite trend of 2021, and I am actually incorporating this into my own home. I tend to redesign because I just love design so much, and what I'm doing now is decluttering. Part of this movement is to declutter. Get rid, be more feng shui, get rid of all the clutter, the little knickknacks, the, uh, the decorative objets that are everywhere, layering each other, collecting dust, and really getting in the way of your Zen life. And the way to do that is to declutter and really create that statement piece. Look at this beautiful statement, red velvet, mid-century chair. This statement piece is really speaking to the eye. It draws the attention of the homeowner or a guest. If you look at this green credenza, for example, in a very minimalistic home, it almost looks like an art piece, a sculpture, and it really comes alive. It's about making the pieces that you do leave in your space come alive and become focal points and statement pieces that people can talk about, people can enjoy, and give the eye a little pleasure. Bringing nature into the home is the very next trend of 2021. And you will see this in bringing in a beautiful plant, for example. It could be a beautiful fig tree. Again, it's not about bringing the entire nursery into your home and oversaturating your home, but it's bringing in that one tree that speaks to you, that is sculptural, that you love and you cherish and you nurture. It's about nurturing, it's about 
about bringing the outdoors in. This could also be seen in architecture very prevalently as the bifold doors and the indoor outdoor vibe, especially on the West Coast, is really taking over. I feel like every home in California now has what is called the outdoor indoor vibe, and that can be facilitated with the beautiful new windows that are being constructed today. The next trend of 2021 is having walls of limestone. Limestone, as you know, was big in the 80s and 90s and even in the 2010s, but it sort of disappeared for the last 10 years and everything became very gray and very dull and people started to shrivel up like a raisin. And so therefore, this particular trend I love because I love warm colors, but I only like warm colors against a minimal background, a modern background. Hence, this is why this particular trend is really important. Plastered walls, limestone slabs, warm beige materials are really coming back and they're coming back in a way that looks very modern and very clean. The next trend, and as you guys know, I am not shy to this trend and this is my favorite trend, is the juxtaposition trend. What has happened in 2021 is that it has become much more prevalent in the way that people are designing. The edges are rounded, but they are modern, so it's not an old round, it's a new round. Faucets are turning black and people are using water softeners in order not to stain their faucets. So if you decide to use the black trim um, against a beautiful white marble or a beautiful natural limestone, which is the trend, you wanna make sure and use water softeners in your home so that they do not stain your black fixtures. Something that is happening in 2021 is this really sharp contrast between black, sleek, clean, matte finish, not shiny. Everything is matte, people. Forget the polished chrome, forget the polished anything. Everything is going to be matted, muted, but it's going to be sharp and it's going to have a lot of contrast and hence why this juxtaposition is a really good trend for 2021. The next trend that is very hot for 2021 is really has been um, reinvented and has been stolen from Matisse and it's called the face line art. Face line art, I believe, is a very interesting trend because again, it's very artsy and artistic. I love my interiors to have that art element in them for them to look very high end without actually having to spend a lot of money. How can you bring Matisse into your home? Well, look at this wallpaper. It's absolutely stunning. Line art that covers your walls and line art that is done in prints that you can hang up in your home. Very subtle, very clean, and very Matisse. The very next design trend of 2021 is called the industrial chic. This is industrial chic unlike what you saw five or 10 years ago where you have a lot of metals. This is a warm industrial chic where you have multi-purpose rooms. As you know, we are all sheltering in place, but beside the fact that we are now at this moment sheltering in place, we will also have changed our way of living. Our way of living has switched from working in an office to working at home. Multi-purpose spaces like the ones that you see here with natural wood tones and industrial type two-story vibes are those that are office by day, dining room by night. Why shouldn't we all work in our homes? Save time and energy from driving aimlessly in our cars to get to a building that just houses our bodies. It is not a productive way of living. I am interjecting a little bit of my own sentiments, but I think working from home, if one can, is really a great trend. It uh, brings in happiness. And therefore, what you will see in design is Again, the integration of what is happening in our society gets integrated into design because that is the space that we are living and working in. This is a very good trend for 2021. The last design trend of 2021 is really due to technology as well. And that is your fabrics have changed. Typically, outdoors used to have very dark, very heavy fabrics. Today, thanks to perennials and thanks to some of these incredible new technologies where you can actually have white linen that is not only durable, weather resistant, and easy to clean, those particular materials are really making a surgence into interior design. Everybody knows that white linen is one of the most beautiful materials out there. Typically, it was reserved for rooms that were very formal, where people did not enter. 
Today, you can have a perennial, which means a very resistant fabric outside where you typically wouldn't. And so that brings a lot of freshness and a very, very fresh new look to 2021. It also has the same effect indoors. Rich materials, low pile velvets, silk velvets that are all faux are made to look real and they are done in a way that is no longer tacky. They are beautiful fabrics and materials. You can hardly even tell the difference. And those are the materials that are now coming back into the family room. No longer must one shed all the good fabrics into the long forgotten formal living room. They are making a surge into the common spaces of the home where one actually has traffic. So every room can look absolutely designer and beautiful. Thank you for joining me on this. This episode of Red Elevator 2021 is going to be a very interesting year when we're going to mix a lot of indoor outdoor activity along with indoor work. Instead of an office, we're going to be at home most likely, at least some of us, and therefore creating a beautiful environment that surrounds us is very important. It's great for our mental health. It's great for our visual health. Again, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Red Elevator. Please don't forget to subscribe below and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and I will see you again next week.